This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and this, well, this here is Hazel. And you're just about the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> I think people are really drawn to the fact that all these animals get, get, get along well. It's all about having the animals for the pictures that I make. Hey, little lambs. There's really nothing else I really want to do. I think I found what I, what I was really meant to do. We're here in Essex at the farm of photographer John Churchman. You probably know John and his menagerie of animals through his Facebook page, Sweet Pea and Friends. <laughs> Sweet Pea has a series of children's books that are due to come out thanks to a very successful Kickstarter campaign. And what better way to celebrate spring than in the storybook, Come to Life. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that's a... <laughs> Come on! I'm a farmer in the old style where people used to have small farms. You know, little farms where they would grow their own food and, and were sustainable. I mean, there's a lot of hard work mm -hmm. and being on the farm and taking care of the animals. You have to do the hay, the grain, the feed, the water clean up the manure. <laughs> there really truly is a sense of a real sweet energy that you get from these little, you know, tender little delicate beings that really, you know, they rely on you completely. Primarily, I have the camera and all I'm doing is taking care of my daily routines of feeding animals, taking care of them. And I just photograph what's going on. So it's all very authentic. I've done a lot of pictures of animals, owls and sheep, and the animals are used primarily there their models for me. Well, do people ever wonder if you're putting it on because it's too cute? Well, maybe, but the truth is I'm not. Hey, sweet pea, come here. Come here, let me take your picture. <laughs> this is the knitting club all around you here. There's speckles and there's freckles. Hazel is our youngest bottle lamb now. She's an orphan. Her mother couldn't take care of her. She was born on a cold night and the mother had twins. And I looked underneath in the hay crush and there she was buried down in there. This is the one who stayed with the mother and Hazel was an orphan. This is Violet. Violet is Sweet Pea's sister. So they're gonna be one year old and they're gonna have a birthday party. This is Sweet Pea right here. Sweet Pea, what's it like being a celebrity? Sunny. Sunny, hello. Come here, Prim. Come here. Prim's a very good girl. This is um, Sweet William. This is Snow. He was part of the, my three sheep piece that I did. They're called the cowgirls, this pair right here. This is Atticus. He'll be a really fine ram someday, and he's one of the cutest ones we've, I think we've ever had. And the little girl's named Midnight, I think. And I'm still kind of deciding what the little boy is going to be. Yeah, this, this is Mama. She's like, hey, she's a very good Mama, you see? Now this is Laddie. He's great around the sheep, and he loves to round them up and bring them in. We're going to be doing a book about Maisie. It's going to be called The Adventures of Laddie and Maisie Grace. This is Quinn down here. He's a very good boy. He looks like a sheep, too. We have chickens. We have ducks. We have geese. We have heritage bronze turkeys that we raise. We have a flock here. He's a guard goose, and we get along very well. <laughs> I lived in New York for a while, and I realized that I really couldn't survive there. And I came up to Vermont to go to the Bread and Puppet Theater in the mid-'80s and just stayed. In the spring, we get the frogs, because this is all wetland back in through here, and we have a pond right here, and so it all just lights up. And so you, you can sit out up in the treehouse and you can just listen to the frog choruses. This is the treehouse. Come here, laddie. The treehouse is built all from wood that was harvested here. You know, I also built all my, all my barns here, all my structures. Hey, Sweet Pea, look. Look, Sweet Pea. 
you know, there are a multitude of ways to make a living as an artist in Vermont. I have a card company, Brickhouse Studios. We've been selling across the country. I have a lot of different paths I follow. I'm, I'm a stock photographer. I'm with Getty and Corbis. I do graphic design. I take on generally like a client every year. What my goal has been is to figure out how to create my art and to have that grow so I can stay here and take care of these animals. Right now what I see going on is I'm moving into Sweet Pea and Friends. So Sweet Pea, what's it like being an internet celebrity? Oh, she says I'm still humble. One of the things that's been quite interesting is how on social media this has just taken off. There's something about Sweet Pea. People can relate to her. There's a real joy. It's kind of a happy place that people find when they, when they look at pictures of her. Sweet Pea, she got sick back in January. She had an, an infection in her leg. We brought her up here and she was brought into the greenhouse. We also brought Prim, the little Scottish blackface, to be up with her so she had a, someone to be with. People online were following it and we decided, well, we'd have a little party, a sheep sleepover. And somebody said, oh, a sheepover. And then somebody else said, well, you've got to make a book about this. And Sweet Pea had my hat on at one point, and they all had lays. My wife, Jennifer, has been a real, you know, wonderful support, and she's actually helping to co-write co the book. We also did a Kickstarter campaign that we started, and in the first 15 hours, we met our minimum goal, and now we're nearly uh, double that. All these sketches of Sweet Pea that various artists have done and sent in to us, pictures and, and drawings. They love the fact that there's nothing ever political and there's nothing controversial and it's really it's just about the animals and living here hello baby how do you do hello baby speaking to you introducing no one else but me in person hello baby going my way hello baby what do you say how about a little company I take off my hat to a baby like you. Take off your high hat and we'll find things to do together. Come on, baby, don't hesitate. Come on, baby, cooperate. Be your swell, oh, hello, hello, baby. So you can follow the adventures of Maisie and Sweet Pea on Sweet Pea and Friends on Facebook, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again. <laughs> Real soon. <laughs> oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby. I love you, Mercy. It's like these shirts. Sheeps are European. They have no personal space. <laughs> <laughs> You've been showing me this whole time, haven't you? That's the thing I love about, you know, when I, in being a photographer, like this sort of thing, you mm. get things that just happen. It's like, whoa! <laughs> Hello. Hotel Vermont is personal, purposeful, and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting. Hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight. We'd love to see you.